stay out of Guam. From Osaid Guy 760. I lived in Guam for some time, knowing the history and the island's culture. Being that it was a key point in World War II, there's going to be some crazy stories of unexplainable events there. I have two of my own that still get under my skin to this very day. The first one was when I was hanging out with my family in Jigo. After practicing for the upcoming show in Chomoto Village, my cousins and I decided to walk up and down the street, just messing around. At this moment, I thought it would be a good idea to pull my iPod out and try out this ghost detection app that shows where ghosts and spirits are nearby and would even produce words that they're supposed to be saying. Something that I thought was just a fake gimmick. During this time, we figured we'd give it a go. One of my cousins asks, is there anyone with us that would like to talk? My iPod goes off with three red dots near us, and the word yes appears. Now feeling giddy, I ask the next question. Are you a man or a woman? Then it goes off again, saying two men, one girl. I laugh. One of my cousin's friend asks the next question. Where'd you come from? It replied with, behind house in jungle. Now, anyone that knows the locals will tell you to stay out of the jungle at night and to always ask permission before you enter the jungle where the Tao Tao Mona spirits live. Considering how accurate the words that were replied through the app were, I was beginning to feel weirded out because either this app really worked or it was using my location and responding directly to what I said. Something I did not expect from an app this cheap looking. Story two happened down south in the village of Agat. I was with my girlfriend, now wife of eight years now. We were walking from one of the mom and pop stores. In the back, we passed by the cemetery where her mother was buried. And I asked her, hey, you want to stop to at least say something to your mom before we head home? She shakes her head and says that we can do it tomorrow. I shrug and say okay. Now, I have never seen any pictures of her mother whatsoever when we were dating. Keep this in mind for the next part. Fast forward to the following morning and I wake her up, asking, Hey, I need to ask you something about your mom. It's going to sound very weird and I hope I don't upset you in any way. She gives me the go-ahead. This is the strange part. I ask her, Was your mother buried in an all-white coffin and on the inside there are three diamonds and a rose in the middle? She turned pale. I kept going. Did she also have short hair and she... The other details elude me at the moment of her physical appearance, but needless to say, I was correct. My girlfriend begins to stammer a bit and says yes. I let her know how I know all this. It's because I had a dream the night prior. She tells me that we should have stopped to say something to her last night and that she was probably visiting us either to say hello or to express her frustration with us skipping out on a visit. If you ever come to visit Guam, stay out unless you fully understand that you may encounter some restless spirits, some good, some bad, and some especially creepy. Guam is a beautiful place, but it has a troubling past. <laughs>